Earlier today, we heard from city employee Irene Jackson McCormick. She spoke out about her claims Mayor Bob Fildner sexually harassed her. Now she says she was told by Fildner to work with her panties off. And she was also set placed in the Fildner headlock. The past six months turned out to be the worst time of my entire working life. I had to work and do my job in an atmosphere where women were viewed by Mayor Filner as sexual objects or stupid idiots. I saw him place his hands where they did not belong on numerous women. I was placed in the Filner headlock and moved around as a rag doll while he whispered sexual comments in my ear. We did not have a relationship other than work. That is all I wanted, and I never gave him any reason to think otherwise. And joining me now to talk more about these allegations is the lawyer for Irene McCormick Jackson, Gloria Allred. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? Fine, thank you. Thank you very much for having me, Alonza. So first off, I want to start off. How is your client doing? Well, she's uh, back to work for the city. She still works for the city, although she is not working uh, directly for the mayor at this time. And I know today was a big day, the first time she publicly came out to discuss these allegations. Tell me a little bit about, you know, what that was like. Well, I mean, it was very emotional for her to have to relive exactly what she suffered. But she came forward today. We filed a lawsuit that is a public record. We filed it against the mayor and against the city of San Diego. And we did allege sexual harassment, and uh, it was time for her to come forward and set the record straight, because to this point there have been a lot of rumors and innuendos of reports, some false, some not, some true, and it was important for her voice to be heard. And I also hope, personally, that it will encourage other victims to come forward, because this kind of conduct is just simply not to be tolerated. No working woman should ever have to. Uh, tolerate this from her boss. And have you heard from any of the victims? Any other victims? Well, uh, let's put it this way. We've received a number of calls into our office and uh, we're going to be responding to everyone uh, and finding out what evidence uh, they can provide and to see if we can assist them or not. But today, uh, Irene was very, very brave. I mean, she. we talked about the fact that the news conference that Irene had never had a relationship with the mayor other than work, and that's all she wanted to have. But it, he apparently uh, felt that he had the right to uh, demand kisses to drag her around in a headlock while he's whispering uh, sexual comments in her ear to continually tell her how much he was in love with her, uh, to repeatedly ask when they were going to be able to consummate their relationship and that he wanted to marry her. Uh, and, 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 of course, to request that she not wear panties at work. I mean, that is just not acceptable in the workplace. Now, this story was already getting national attention, but when you hear the name Gloria Allred, people pay attention. Now, do you feel like that helps the case or all the attention hurts the case? Well, uh, I, I mean, I think that the people of San Diego have a right to know what is happening in their workplace. After all, they are taxpayers, and they pay for this workplace. And, you know, government should provide a workplace that really is a model for private employers and not one that is an absolute disgrace. And this one, with Mayor Filner, is a disgrace. And we feel that it's time for him to resign and take responsibility for what has occurred. I mean, he has indicated that uh, somehow that he wants uh, help. Well, we say, uh, what kind of help? Uh, it's the victims that need help because of the harm that he has caused them, and that's why we filed the lawsuit today in San Diego Superior Court. And also the people of San Diego, of course, need help uh, because they thought they elected a progressive leader, uh, and what they got was, Mayor Filner, and uh, I think if he had uh, revealed prior to the election that uh, he needed help and uh, that he, uh, that in order to discern right from wrong, uh, in order to understand uh, what uh, sexual harassment is, uh, you know, I really have a substantial question in my mind as to whether or not he would have been elected. 
what is your response to the video that Mayor Bob Filner put out after these allegations first started to surface? Well, uh, I, I just uh, think that it's certainly not enough, and that's why we filed the lawsuit. Uh, after all, uh, I mean, what, what else does, does he need to understand that women in the workplace are not to be treated as pieces of meat? I think most people understand that today without getting help. And, uh, you know, our client, Irene, she needed and deserved to have his respect and not to be treated as a rag doll uh, put in a headlock and then moved around uh, while uh, hearing sexual comments. And, uh, you know, I can't understand what help he thinks that he needs in order to change his view that uh, apparently he must think that it's acceptable behavior to work, to ask a woman who works for him to, to work without her panties on. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe this lawsuit will help. Will you put Mayor Bob Filner under oath in a deposition? Well, absolutely. Since we are suing him as well as the city of San Diego, we would expect to take his deposition and also the deposition of any witnesses to uh, some of the conduct that was suffered by our clients. And we know that uh, there were some witnesses to uh, some things that have happened. And yes, we want to get to the truth and to the heart of this matter because we think that Irene and also the people in San Diego certainly deserve it. Do you think your client will settle at any point or will this go to trial? Well, you know, we really couldn't make that prediction right now. Uh, you know, we are known for being very, very uh, vigorous uh, litigators and advocates. Uh, we will litigate a case, go to trial for as long as it takes uh, to get a just result. So uh, I don't know. We'll see uh, what the mayor's uh, attitude is going to be, whether both cases settle before trial. But those who do not, we take to trial. Uh, we just took a case to trial and won a very, very significant a verdict in a uh, case involving discrimination, involving uh, allegations of retaliation. And we're going to be announcing that soon, but we just won a very, very significant result at a trial. So we're serious. We've been practicing for 38 years. We are the uh, leading uh, private firm in the country dealing with uh, women's rights issues. And uh, we take these issues of sexual harassment very seriously. It's actually the number one focus of our law firm. Has the mayor or anyone from the mayor's office reached out to you? We've had some uh, pretty big developments today. Well, uh, you know, his attorney has uh, been reached out today, and he did send a copy of the complaint to his attorney, and then uh, we'll see what happens next in that regard. So what are the next steps now? What can we expect? Well, what we can expect is that uh, we will serve the mayor. We will serve the city of San Diego with a copy of our lawsuit, and then uh, they will have 30 days to respond, in other words, to answer our complaint. And then we will begin with a discovery stage, and, uh, and, and we'll look forward to that and learning as much information as we can learn as we go through this, uh, this situation leading to trial, this case. So uh, we take it very seriously. And, uh, and we're looking forward to finding out the truth. And we, we find that our client, is, Irene, is extremely credible. She had about 25 years as a very successful journalist in San Diego County. She's very, very well respected and credible. And uh, we'll let the public decide about Mayor Filner's credibility on this stuff. And the mayor has said over and over again that he has no plans to resign. The sheriff's department has issued a hotline for anyone to come forward, any potential victims. And you also mentioned that you did hear from some people who are claiming sexual harassment. Can we expect another press conference anytime soon? Well, we'll have to see. But right now we are gathering uh, all of our evidence together. We're looking forward to uh, talking with anyone who contacts us who may have evidence that is relevant to this sexual harassment issue and Mayor Filner. We will be talking with everyone and then we'll make a determination as to uh, who will represent, represent, who we will not represent, and who will be witnesses in this case. Uh, and, and, and some people uh, just want to provide us information confidentially and that's fine as well. Gloria Allred joining us here on Prime Time. Thank you so much. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, uh, just that, uh, you know, Mayor Filner was uh, in Congress for many years. 
um, and I don't understand why he doesn't understand what sexual harassment is, uh, since uh, the uh, issue of sexual harassment in the military was a big issue when he was there in Congress, and doesn't he remember Clarence Thomas? Doesn't he remember United States Senator Bob Packwood? Doesn't he remember all of the other sexual harassment issues uh, in Herman Cain, uh, uh, something that I was involved with? And uh, if he didn't learn it then, I think he's about to learn it now. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us here on Primetime. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.